This is my new Winwing Urza Minor flight stick. Setting this one up was not a big deal, but it went a little bit different than with my conventional flight controls, and I'm showing you what happened. I have this minimalistic approach and I try to avoid the SIMAP Pro, which is provided by the manufacturer. Before I connected the flight stick to my computer, I had already adjusted the screws on the back of the device according to the manual, and that worked well. So here I'm calibrating the flight stick with an X-plane, and I observe a problem with the roll axis, which is the X-axis. A full right deflection is impossible because I am hitting the mechanical stop before. And a full left deflection is obtained even before hitting the mechanical stop. Of course, this then affects the ailerons of the airplane and would surely be unacceptable in a real airplane. Ailerons and spoilers full left. And full right. And multiple calibrations of the flight stick with an X-plane didn't solve this. Did I do something wrong with the screws or was the device already broken from the beginning? The initial observation is corroborated by the SIMAP Pro. A full deflection of an axis corresponds to a signal amplitude of 65,535 units, as it is shown here and in the manual. And we don't get there with the x-axis, which is indicated by the red curve. The good news is that this was not a mechanical issue. The only thing to do in order to cure this is to calibrate the Urza Minor flight stick with a SIMAP Pro and all is fine again. Now look again on the data curves on top of the screen. By deflecting the stick, the full signal amplitude is reached for each and every axis. I show you this because with all my conventional flight controls that I have used within the last decades, I never had to calibrate them externally. Doing so in the flight simulator was always sufficient. Now, with the wind wing working in the way it is desired and designed, flying the tollis is more fun and paying off than ever before.